Okay, so uh, right now I want to talk a little bit more about my burrow, the Tele Hybrid, uh, Tele Strat Hybrid, I should say, um, and my 5F11 amplifier that I have here. It's a Mojo Tone build. Probably had it for about three years. Um, so I just want to kind of go through both of these a little bit. I'm going to play it a little bit more. Um, I know people like to hear these things. So. so I'm on the bridge right now. I got my volume at uh, five, tones at four. Uh, just the volume just rolled back a little bit, tones wide open. up you can hear it starting to break up on let's see eight right now so I'm gonna go right to 12 hell with it <laughs> Thank you. 
covers it, I guess. Oh yeah, it's got uh, tremolo on it. It's actually pretty usable tremolo too. <laughs> Kind of get outrageously fast. it there uh, as far as the burrows things still going good I haven't really done too much with it as far as any more modifications I keep thinking about uh, you know it goes strings uh, through the uh, uh, through the bridge rather than through the back and I've thought about trying to get it through the body but uh, it would take some work to fill all this in and figure out exactly how I want to do that uh, I've had some questions and comments about the um, the neck pocket and uh, getting this this done down here. Let me turn this down. Uh, so if you do this, what you want to do is you want to take off on these corners here, and you're going to have to profile the bottom a little bit too. Um, I started with a rasp or wood file, I guess. Um, got it roughly in shape, and then I um, used sandpaper to finish it with. Now, um, it's it's definitely doable. What you want to stay away from is the body. Don't touch the body at all, and don't touch the bottom. Don't touch the bottom of the of the neck down here. You're just going to have problems if you get into that. So all you want to do is work on these corners here and across the bottom. And uh, you'll have to take off some wood across the bottom to get the profile to fit. And then if you're doing the telly build, you'll you know measure all this up. I think it would, if you just did this with a Stratocaster, with the Stratocaster bridge on there, I think it, the bridge could stay in the same position because you would have, for the amount that I took off on these necks when I've done this, I don't. I think you could compensate for it with the saddle screws, right? So, uh, I think you'd be safe there. Um, and you know, if you were starting with a body, uh, like a new body for a build, I would just go with a hardtail. And um, you might have to redo the holes back here, but uh, I. This was a really fun project, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and I really like it. It it does really plays nice. Um, and it's a unique, a unique thing. I haven't seen one quite like this. Um, so, and it's like seven pounds. I think another thing that's probably important too, especially if you want to get that teletone, you know, you have to, when you, when you mount this bridge back here, and this is just a, I think it's just a, uh, oh, it's a Klusen bridge. That's what it is. <clears throat> but, um, you have to make certain that this is mounted right onto the, but it has to be flat. You really, to, especially to get your Teletone, you want to make certain that that bridge is really mounted on a nice flat surface. You want the contact area of the bridge to the body to be complete, like 100%. So um, anyway, I hope this clears up. You know, if you've got comments or questions, please do ask them. And uh, thanks for looking at my video. And um, have fun. Let me know if you guys are doing anything like this. I like to see other guys build too and see some of the neat ideas that people are, are doing. Um, that's a lot of fun. So thank you very much.